Hello, it's me again. In this last video, I wanted to show you how to export your maps from Substance Designer and import it to Marmoset and render it out. So, um, for this, um, choose your Substance um, Designer material in your Explorer and say export outputs as bitmaps. So, I already set up my destination folder, so I use TGA as my format and export everything that I created before and say save all. So um, about this one, it's our pattern, so um, the graph name and the maybe uh, for example normal or roughness or metallic. So save all and yeah, so um, everything was exported now. Now I will open Marmoset. So it's, I only got this plane, who I tessellated in 3ds Max to get more resolution for my height map of our displacement map. And um, also I choose Museum as my uh, sky. And I also created a light um, who are directed from the top like this on my plane and I also created a camera for my uh, shot so but um, now you can see only a white plane because we don't um, have created material yet and yeah so um, click on this button so it means um, create the material and go to Unreal 4 template and drag and drop on our plane so and the first would be to change our texture tiling to 2 and activate our subdivision and height. So it means um, it's tessellate again more, um, um, yeah, more than before. Like this. You see the difference? Yeah. Great. Um, okay. So the next step would be to drag and drop our maps into the right slots. So base color would be albedo. Roughness would be gloss map. So um, watch out. Um, that's a um, gloss map channel is inverted because it's very um, important. When you not inverted it um, with your metalness workflow, it will look strange. So get sure that's inverted. Now our normal. Oh, sorry, this was a false, false slot. Mm, normal. Don't forget to flip the green channel if you're not flip, or if you got the OpenGL uh, normal map. Because my is DirectX. Now the metallic and the height map in our display, uh, displacement map slot and at least our um, occlusion that will be here so activate it and drag and drop nice okay um why it looks so strange because um, i got my scale on one so slightly up like this and now I think that's everything for the material setup. So I can go to the main camera, I can um, change my cameras here. So if you got more cameras than one, you can click on it and say, okay, I will go to the view of my main camera. Then it will look uh, like this. So I can switch. And here we got some nice options or post processing effects that we can use. So, for example, um, I used in distortion the chromatic aberration. It's a great feature to get some more realistic look. Then um, I changed, um, I, I gave them some, some sharpen and a little bit of grain. 
Yeah, if you want, you can use field of view to get uh, some blurry gradient to the background and some other stuff. So it's very powerful. So and here is our render setting. So if you render it out, so get sure that you use um, interlacing on four and resolution on double. And don't forget to check high DPE and some other stuff. So I will um, enable emit occlusion also. The screen, screen, uh, screen space ambient occlusion. And global animation also. So you can say show me the voxels. And you can use the slider to see if it fits on the whole scene. So if you drag it down. Oh, let me re-voxelize, so you will see it's the area of the effect, like this. So uncheck show voxels. Uh, if you want, you can check tessellation, so you will get better, resu uh, better results. And there's secondary bounces. And then make occlusion again, check it. And yeah, so um, yeah, that's that's a quick setup. Um, I will also include the Marmoset file in the project files, so you can uh, drag and drop your materials and have already a rendered camera with all the settings and a plane. And yeah, I hope uh, you enjoyed this course. And yeah, have fun.